With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So here we have a question from dimension analysis. The time period of oscillation of a simple pendulum depends on the following quantities. Length of the pendulum, mass of the bob and acceleration due to gravity g. We have to derive an expression using dimension method. So as the time period t is dependent upon all these quantities we can write it will be equals to k a constant that will be the magnitude into l to the power sum a into second quantity is mass to the power sum b and the third quantity is acceleration due to gravity g to the power c so for this to happen we know that dimension of lhs has to be equals to rhs so dimension of t has to be equal to k is dimensionless so it will be dimension of l that is length itself to the power a dimension of m that is m itself to the power b and dimension of g that is lt to the power minus 2 to the power c so from here we can simplify it it comes out to be l to the power a m to the power b l to the power c and t to the power minus 2c so we get that the dimension of time period will be equals to the dimension of RHS that is dimension of L to the power A plus C M to the power B and T to the power minus 2C now simply comparing what we can see that the mass M has no dimension in LHS so simply B has to be equals to 0 we are comparing the dimension in LHS and RHS and similarly the dimension of time is equals to 1 in our LHS and minus 2c in RHS so minus 2c equals to 1 so from here c comes out to be minus half and similarly using the dimension of length the dimension of length in LHS is nothing but 0 and so it will be equals to a plus c equals to 0 so basically a equals to minus c so from here we get a equals to half so from using all this and this relation we can write that t will be equals to k now for k for this case comes out to be 2 pi we need not prove it we can directly write it k as well as we have to prove it dimensional only so 2 pi into l to the power a what is a so l to the power half into mass to the power 0 b comes out to be 0 so m to the power 0 and g to the power minus half we can see c comes out to be minus half so our final time period formula comes out to be 2 pi under root l by g so this is the original formula we can replace 2 pi by k because we don't know the value of k but as we know the formula so we can directly write k as 2 pi so this is the dimension formula for the time period that is 2 pi under root l by g thank you for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.